Okay, so you've probably already gotten foundation basics in our very first tutorial from Diva's Paradise. And I, myself, am Diva. I'm a licensed makeup artist and esthetician. So let's move on. What we can do after we've applied foundation, if we want to go back and chisel, we can. Basically, I just use a face powder that's a couple shades darker. This is actually Iman's Earth Dark. I go back and I softly chisel. You know, two shades darker is more than enough. Go. And if you know my forehead is kind of big, I got a five head, so I chisel that down too. My you know, slightly darker shade around the perimeter. Okay. Add a little bit more. Perfect. But it has a slight shimmer to it, so it really gives you a glow. Lars is make of the infamous orgasm blush, which I also like. But I feel like Tarde is the black girl's orgasm. Give you a hint of color smile, and I just put it right on the apples where I want a little glow. My skin is already oily to begin with, so I don't like to put too much all over. So you just a hint of color. Can you see that? I don't know if you can or not. This is like my built-in um, webcam. It must work on a natural eye shade. So, from a cheapy brand of eyeshadow that I bought across the pond on my many travels, this is actually from a drugstore in London. It's called Sleek. And it comes with all these colors in there. Oops, can you see? I actually like them, you know? I'm not sure if they're supposed to be mineral or what, but it works. Then I use my fluffy eyeshadow brush, which is number six. I'm going to be using a very neutral shade, which would be this one right here. And I'm going to apply that from the lid right on up. Some people base their lids, some people don't. In this case, I'm just trying to show you a quickie, natural looking makeup that you can do. For everyday wear. And usually I put shadow underneath my eye to catch any falling shadow. I take it all the way up with my fluffy brush. Okay. Can you see that? No, this webcam doesn't seem to be the most clear. I might have to get one with higher megapixels. Now, after that, I'm going to take like a slightly more defining brush, which is a narrower head. That's number eight from Billy B. I'll be using the darker shade. Oh, here we are, the darker brown shade in the crease. Now, usually when I put it on, I look straight ahead. And I just outline my orbital bone. Now I can see exactly where it's going to rest. Let's make my shadow. Can you see that? Oh boy, my skin is really peeling. My sinuses are doing something off. I'm supposed to be in Amsterdam today, but it didn't quite work out that way. See, here we are. You blend very well. My peeling lips, everything is peeling. My God, these antihistamines really dry you up. Did you see? Then, <coughs> what I'll do, I'll go back and, um, this is a number four Billy B brush. I can blend it out with that. Because I, I like to see one color run into the next. No heavy lines of demarcation. Then, right along the brow bone, I'm going to use a slightly shimmery shade going to be this one. I don't know if you can see. I hate when it's too light because I don't like the area to stand off too much apart from my eye area. And the idea is right under the brow bone. 
and then we blend very well. Yeah, there's my African music playing in the background. Okay. Give you your everyday look. We blend, we blend. Clean that. Okay. Then, using my color girl, like I told you, I am a mix of high end and low end. This is CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. I simply press on my lower lid to expose the waterline. I don't even always do this, but this is just a nice basic um, everyday look. Okay, we got 2 minutes and 52 seconds to go. We're doing pretty good. Okay. Get it all in the lash line. See? Perfect. Then I will go back and smudge with my finger. Actually, this has a smudger tip at the end. I can also use that. Perfect. Then now, my favorite mascara is Dior Show Blackout. Uh, I love it. Lump into my lashes. I have short and shrinky lashes. Oh yeah. Uh, we're almost there. A little five uh, little makeup tutorial. This is make make basic makeup. Oh perfect. I like to get the line way down into the last line. Want every single lash coated. Oh god, look at all this feeling skin. Nice. I'm sorry, y'all. I've just been promising to do a tutorial for so long that I was so anxious to get it done. And my skin is like a wreck, it's peeling. one of the challenges of being a makeup artist. You have to work with people with all kinds of skin issues going on. I try not to make it clumpy. Let's see. Oh, can I brush that out? Okay. I'm trying to using Billy B's number nine. It's a little short, stubby looking brush. I do this number. I wipe it on the one and I simply lay the mascara. I can't talk right now. And I just lay it, lay it, lay it on the lash line. Okay. Well, there's our timer. Let's see if we can grab and get our gloss on really quickly. Kevin Aquine Flesh Tone Pencil in D. Line. Define. Perfect. Then using Billy Blee's number 7 lip brush. I use it for lip brush. And this is Chanel's Gloss Immunity. I simply put it on the back of my hand. And then I take my brush. And I work it on as quickly as possible because time's running out. Up over the line and blend. Anyway, that completes this look, and this is just our basic makeup application. Enjoy, and we hope to see you again on Dear's Paradise. Keep watching.